Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with another Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how we can count the number of times a date appears in a long list of dates and uh, do a little manipulation to see how else we can total up various items of those dates within that data range. So let's take a look and see how we can do that in Excel. So here I have a list of 2,000 dates in this range. I'm not going to scroll all the way down to the bottom, but there's 2,000 in here. It's just a scattered list of dates from January 1st, 2013 through today in 2015. So I want to know how many times each date occurs within this list. Well, the easiest way to do that is to use a pivot table. So I'm just going to click anywhere in my range here, go to Insert, pivot table and just to make it easy I'm gonna select a spot within this worksheet I'm gonna go into cell E1 say OK and now here's the framework of my pivot table and my field list so I'm just gonna take the date option and drag it into rows and also drag it into values now you can see that I have a list of every date and the number of times that list occurs within my data range so that was simple. Now let's say I don't want this so granularly defined. I want to break it down maybe by month and by year. Well, if I right click anywhere in my pivot table, I can select group. And here I have choices of how I want to group that data. So I'm going to choose months and say OK. And now it's going to give me a count of every time that a date occurs in January or February, etc. Notice how I didn't select year, so in this January, it could be January from 2013, January from 2014, or 15. So I'm going to right-click, select group again, and I'm going to choose months and years. I'll say OK, and now I get a breakdown by year and then by month. Now if instead I wanted by month, then by year, I can just switch these in my rows area, and now I have month here then year. So in January I had a total of 200 and there was 56 in 2013, 51 in 2014, etc. Now notice when I made that switch in January I got a grand total here for the month of January but when I switched it back years didn't do that. It's just a little quirk within Excel so to fix that just right click on the first year here go down to field settings and under subtotal select automatic and say OK. Now notice Excel gave me a subtotal or a total for each year above each list of months. Now I can right click here, go to group, maybe I want it by quarters instead of months, I'll say OK. And now for each year I have quarter, again to fix that little problem, right click, field settings, go to automatic, say OK, and now I have my totals for each year broken down by quarter, or I can swap these and have each quarter broken down by year. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.